You may begin. Signing out. All right. Um, my project is over the creation of the Sierra Leone and Liberia. Oh, and this is the uh, Sierra Leone flag. This is Liberia's flag. Just for case you get it. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> New colonies. So it all started when um, America and Britain wanted um, to respond to the abolition of slavery. I mean, it kind of put their economy in the toilet because they were relying on slaves for economic um, input into society. And um, they, they had all these slaves that they had freed, and they really didn't know where to put them. They didn't have like a designated area to put slaves. And so they created the Sierra, Sierra Leone and Liberia. Um, so they founded Freetown, which is now the capital, I don't, I don't know if you can see this, but this is Sierra Leone right here, and um, right here it says uh, Freetown, and that's the, this is like a legitimate map of the area. So um, they created Freetown in 1787, and they used it as like a safe haven for all these different people that they had already freed, all the slaves that they had freed. And um, it was mainly, um, mainly inhabited by black Americans that were freed by the British, but they also had Jamaican rebels that were also freed in a Jamaican rebellion as well. All right, and um, like I said, the British slave trade was abolished as, long, as well as the American slave trade, and it was abolished in 1807. And um, the British Navy recaptured the slaves that they had, um, that they had freed and they wanted to put them into this safe haven. So they actually captured, and, or excuse me, they recaptured 50,000 slaves, or over 50,000 slaves, and put them back in these uh, safe haven areas and granted them freedom. So this is like, this is a, um, a picture, I like cropped it, out of the bill for uh, abolition of British slave trade. Obviously this is not the legitimate thing, but this is a typed up copy. All right, um, they began to get so many slaves, they didn't realize how many people they had actually freed. And so they had massive, like, we're talking several, several tens of thousands of people. And so um, they made Sierra Leone a legitimate British colony, and they started instilling um, Christianity and westernizing the entire place to try to, like, modernize them and keep them up with the times and everything. And, I thought this was funny because when I looked up, looked up westernizing on the internet, it popped up McDonald's and uh, Fun Fact. Explain. <laughs> All right. So this is this is uh, that next year on the slide, and um, it, they provided common education from missionaries to all these uh, all these abolished or freed slaves who were abolished. And yeah, my picture is done. It's a little bit. So they tried to unite them under like one common, like one common belief and idea, and that was Christianity. And um, and they created the Anglican, Anglican Church Missionary Society, and they uh, they actually trained an African clergy that would rule the rest of the slave, or not rule, but help to instill these ideas into the rest of the slaves, without them physically being there. And yeah, the slaves and I started like. <laughs> I like this. That I was like pretty cool. All right, and um, so now I get to Liberia. And Liberia was another country, like I said, it was like a safe haven sort of a thing, but um, it was based off of Sierra Leone. So, like, think of Sierra Leone as like a trial run almost for Liberia. And it was created by the American Colonization Society, and it was put on the uh, West African coast, and it was for freed American slaves. And that, that doesn't... That doesn't make all of their, um, I don't know, all of the population of it, but it was most of it. All right, um, so the first settlers of Liberia were in 1822. They arrived, and they called it Monrovia after James Monroe. They had 5,000 settlers, and um, they declared themselves independent after a short period of time. And this is a map, and there's Sierra Leone and Monrovia. Um, it took nine years. Uh, before Liberia became legitimately independent, and they joined the surrounding set settlements to create Liberia. And they were an independent state, but they relied on American assistance. And this is another map of the area. And Americans supported Liberia, 
And like I said, it was a safe haven or and a dumping ground, even though a small percentage of them um, were, uh, even though like us, there were a small Wilson, you're at five minutes. 